My husband had gotten a phone call about a baby raccoon that had been abandoned and it had been crying all day. She was at the bottom of a tree. Mom never came back for her. He asked me, do you want a baby raccoon? I was like, yes. He got her and from there, it was over. I'm Randa and this is Roxy's story for GeoBeat. Roxy is Roxy. Come here. She can be very loving hey, baby. and want to lick you like a puppy. And then in some ways, she's like a cat with her attitude. Oh my gosh. Bad. If she doesn't want to come to you, she's not coming to you. Roxy's going to do what Roxy wants. What are you doing? It's like having a toddler that has a really bad attitude. Look at the cat. She destroyed our first couch. So about two months ago, we went and purchased another couch. She already has a hole in it that she likes to climb up in and burrow. In the couch. We've been through probably 25 sets of bed sheets. That's the price of having a raccoon. She goes to the couch to sleep. She goes there to relax. <laughs> she goes there expecting you to bring her things so she can reach out and grab it and pull it in. Roxy is so bonded with our Doberman. They are like best friends. Mama's gonna see what she's been hiding in her couch. Well, that is a snack cup. Suck. I'm not sure really what Roxy thinks she is, but I would have to guess it's somewhere between Doberman and human. Another sock. We've done a lot of rehabbing for Roxy. There were some developmental things that we began to notice that she just wasn't going to be a candidate for release. Hey, big girl. We didn't know if maybe she was sick and the mom had kind of discarded her. Why are you up there? She could climb a tree. She could not come down. And she would whine wanting to come down. How am I going to get you down from there? And she had not been around other raccoons. She didn't have that proper social development that would have allowed her to thrive in the wild either. When you realize that release just isn't an option, you still have to give it the best life possible. Chew toy. She needs social interaction. She needs toys that also are developmentally appropriate and that cause her to have to think and try moving parts, twisties, anything that you would think of for like a toddler that would be a mentally motivating kind of toy. That's what you want. I think it was a turkey. Even her eaters are puzzle feeders. Just everything has to have some sort of a challenge for her. We do try to take Roxy out on a regular basis because that is important for her. Come on. Let her get her good feel of it and then she's ready to come in because she's not huge on the outdoors. She likes the air conditioning and she likes fresh water and she loves her couch. Her bond with everybody in the house is unique and different. <laughs> For my husband, I think she used him as a playmate. And the same for my son. For me, it's more of like a mom-baby kind of bond. Roxy thinks I'm mama. Vacations are super hard. The most was three days. And that was constant FaceTime and calling home, calling my sister 20 times a day. She lives close to us. She will come and spend time with her. Sock, a shirt, chew toy, two socks, three socks, four socks, two chew toys, three chew toys. A snack cup. One day when I'm really, really old and my days are short, I will always look back on Roxy as a highlight in my life. We have a trip coming up in May that I'm still not sure that I really want to go. I may end up staying here and letting my husband go. I just don't know if I can leave Roxy. It happens to be right over our anniversary. So I was like, well, I'll come with you so we can have our anniversary together. But then I'm like, but I don't want to leave Roxy.